And do you find that's a quite a pleasant distraction when you're when you're running? Do you like that? Do you end up focusing I've, on the podcast and therefore you don't know you're running? Or? Yeah, it's obviously that sometimes if I'm just going, if I mentioned earlier, obviously I'd, I'd like to, I like to, I love the freedom of running and being in control. Mm. Just go out because I want to do the miles. I'm feeling in a good mood. So in mm. those, probably more like I've got podcasts on something. So I just want to have a bit of a, something amusing to listen to. I mean, mm. it, I'm just going out to get some miles in. Okay. I'll, I'll listen and, to something that's going to make me laugh. And obviously, like you said, from a physical point of view, it's obviously, you know, it's good for us. Uh, and you've obviously lost weight and you've done those other things. How would you summarize the benefit on your mental health? Obviously, you've told us about the mindfulness in the moment, but a kind of a longer term picture. Has it, what has it done if it's done anything? And what message would you have to those? Because we see this, you know, this is in the NHS. Like they'll say, oh, your mental health is bad. You should get, you should do some exercise. But it's a very kind of, you know, vague, flippant comment. But somebody who actually yeah. has run, done it for a long time, what impact has it has on your mental health? Yeah, we're going to answer this in two stages. So um, mm. if I look at the person I was in 2006, I think other people look at the person I was in 2006, they'll say that mm. I've changed a lot. And okay. if I ask what's changed, they'll say that you're more confident, more outgoing. Wow. More, I mean, more, more ever, positive. Since, ever since I've known you, have been like that anyway. So <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I think it's a uh, 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 big change for me is confidence. Because okay. when you take on these sort of personal, physical challenges, it obviously gives you that confidence to actually are capable of achieving more than I thought. Um, mm. And I think I've, not so the first, first reason I ran, but when I got christened using boards, the sort of that, there's a humorous element to it because people obviously understood the joke. Yeah. yeah. He's a sadar running and he's using bolt. And what happened was when people picked up on them, they wanted to chat. It's like, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was very lucky the first time I ran as using bolt, I got pulled over by the BBC. because Did you? Denise was the former Olympic champion, saw the name, and she was like, we need to speak to this guy because <laughs> I love it. it's, it's, it's funny, it's, you know, it's, it's quite nice, and he's, you know, yeah. so let's see what this is about. So yeah, I yeah. gave me a little bit of confidence as well, because it was like, I already have a plan to run with that name once. Right. Because I've run it more and more and more, people have got used to it, so I almost feel like compelled to... Well, it's your brand, your brand now, isn't it? It's your brand name. It's almost like a brand, so I think running has been more confident confidence like back to having that freedom just having my time um mm. it's sort of it's give me the confidence to try new things we've talked about i've tried lots of different things you know then mm. dropped things because i thought oh, it's not really for me it's maybe mm. more- con- i mean that takes a lot of confidence to drop something right yeah because we have this thing about oh no no i can't do that i've committed to it now like the whole thing about people not saying no to things yeah or saying and no, actually i get asked this question a lot somebody asked me recently mm. one of my junior doctors he was like, you know, Jazz, you talk about having experiences and reflecting on them, but where's the line? Like, how do you know yeah. when you've given something enough time? He basically, he was talking about leaving medicine and he's a wow, new, okay. fresh doctor, right? He's only 10 months in. And I was like, wow, you're already at that point. I was like, it took me five years to start having like thoughts about how yeah. do I redesign my life? And I was like, you're there in 10 months. I was like, I don't, I don't think you've had enough time experience yet. But that's a really big point you make there. Knowing I mean, when to um, walk away. What I was in job, because I think when I first started work and I just thought I'm going to stick to where I am and... And what was your first job as I, I first worked in like credit control for a utility company and okay. moved into their analysis. So okay. I worked hard and then, but I was like, oh, I don't want to take any risks at work. You know, I'll stick to mm. it. If I don't get to advance, don't worry about it. Then I had the confidence to think, actually, if I'm in a job, I'm not enjoying it. I'm just going to walk away. Right. Okay. It's a, it's, it's a big thing to do, but it's yeah, like, it is yeah. a big thing. I, I've, I've, times I've left jobs, I've thought I'm not enjoying it. And this is not where I see my long-term future. Yeah. And I'd rather walk away and find something else, even if I have to take a step back. And I've gone into jobs with lesser pay and stuff that I've enjoyed more. Mm. I've been here in, and I don't think I'd have done that if I hadn't had this confidence I took from running. And now I'm happy with the job I'm in again. Mm. And I think I've, I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't had this confidence. That's what running brought was that confidence and positivity that actually, you know what? If you take risks, you've took risks with your running. In lives within reason, I'm not sort of being reckless. It's just like if I'm in a job that I'm not enjoying, yeah, stick to it. I mean, there's so many other opportunities out there, and so that philosophy's come into my life. And just to finally just obviously mention about mental well being and stuff. Mm. Um, you're right, I've not I know doctors and GPs that prescribe people to go out and run and go do a park run. I'm involved with something called Run Talk Run, and I won't run, go, talk, run, talk, run, run, talk, run. Yeah. Was started by a young lady who's an incredible she had a lot of issues with mental health and mm. she went out running with her mum and she found that when she was running it 
as I mentioned, she had that freedom to talk. She could express herself. So it created an environment that was um, conducive to sharing. Right. It's, so it's, it's what she did was she, she sort of like reached out on Facebook and like, you know, okay, this has made me feel good. So if anybody fancies, just come for a chatty run. I'm going to be at this park, whenever. And that for a few months, nobody came. And then she, somebody came. And then yeah. people knew what she was doing and said, oh, we'd like to do what you do where we live. And right. run, off, run, run off, run evolve. And Je- her name's Jess. She's an incredible human being. Mm. And so I do run, talk, run walls. So and the philosophy is, yes, we run. We don't yeah. run fast. We can right. walk if we want. Okay. What it is, it's just a space where we're not worried about the pace we run at. It's about heads. It's about head space, not pace. That's our tagline. Head so, space, not pace. Not pace. So if you've ha- if you mm. had a good day, you just want to chat. We listen. We yeah. don't give advice. We don't give therapy. We listen. Um, and I've, I'm a mental health first aid, or I've volunteered for listening charities. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can sign, I'll help to sign posts, but I would never talk, ask any of the group, I wouldn't give any of the group advice. But it's just, it's a brilliant way for people to come out and sort of buy into what I mentioned on that, you know, come out and run with us or walk with us, enjoy a bit. But let's, let's look at that a bit deeper than Bazaar, because that, that's actually really um, profound what you've said there. Because again, there are certain spaces which, you know, counseling, therapy, psychiatry, which are kind of, you know, the designated this is where you come to open up. And often, yeah. you know, even when I see patients when they walk in, they've taken an overdose of self-harmed. Or, you know, I had somebody last week who clearly, clearly was a victim of domestic violence, mm-hmm. you know, had bruises everywhere, was smelling of booze, um, and was only comfortable speaking to myself. But okay. even then, it took a lot to get there. And it may, and I and it always also it always makes me think like, what environment can we create quickly that yeah. will allow somebody to share in a safe space? So what is it you think about the running? that gets people there quicker. That's like, yeah, this is easier. Like, yeah. what is it? I mean, I think the first thing to stress is we probably wouldn't get people to come to run to run that are in that far a crisis that you mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. We're talking about people that they're in the earlier stages and they've mm. gone into a rut, but they're, mm. they're by that they just need to do something to get out of it. So it's people at that relatively early stage where the GP might say, well, actually go and do this and just try this. Mm. They're still open enough to, to, to try it, this can say that there is a benefit. Mm. We'll say, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. And even still, there'll be a bit of trepidation. I'll have people contact me, say, oh, I want to, but I don't really run fast and mm. I'm going to slow you down. And we always emphasize what I mentioned earlier on is that we're not interested in how long it takes us. It doesn't mm. need the 5K, 5K is like the nominal distance. Right. We generally do not care about how fast you're because. I'll say to look, I do my own running outside of run talk run. So for me, it's not like this is my only run of the week. Right. It's the only time you're going to come out and do a bit of physical that if you have a bit of time to concentrate on your headspace. Mm. And it's all about how you do it. So if you say to me, I want to slow down, we slow down. Yeah. If you say to me, I want to stop and walk, we stop and walk. And, it's and just- you find that people generally, they start. Like say I'm running with you and I've got something on my mind. Yeah, you know, would you be like, oh, you like, what's up? What's on your mind, or it just comes from? We, yeah, we would never try and force anybody to talk. What we say right. to people, you feel comfortable, you yeah. talk. It's only come your first time and just listening to the conversation. Do yeah, random stuff. You know, we, we we can talk about anything. We've had the most random conversations, and they can mm-hmm. people feel better because it sort of takes your mind away from things. The, the only thing we say to people is when you come, just don't share it, but just out of ten, how are you feeling? And then when okay. you. As in at the end, before and yeah, after? Yeah, at the start and at the finish. Perfect. Well, just in your mind, how are you feeling out of 10? Yeah. You're five before you start, but you might be six when you finish. Yeah. And you're six exactly. for half an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 5K. Yeah. You have to take your mind of what it was that was. That's a good part huh? of that is like community where yeah, you're so all kind it. of in it together and you're struggling together. We're in it together, mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Admit, we, we, we're not here to judge. We're not there to give advice. We can signpost if, if we feel that there's a need, but we just mm. listen. If somebody wants to talk, we, we listen. If they don't want to talk, they can listen to us. If nobody wants to talk at all. We just want to enjoy the, the atmosphere. Like, if, you know, it's a lovely run or whatever. That's you fine. just do that? Yeah, so there's no, there's no rules or such, are there? No, so that, I guess that's like, the beauty of it. As come well. with us. There's a bit of freedom. Yeah. Not to talk, you can talk as much as you want. We don't, we don't care. We just want to give you a bit of space to the space to express yourself. Yeah, hey, really however you it. want to express yourself, which might be yeah. quiet or might be listening or speaking. Yeah. That's a big point you make there, Indy, as well about um, community, man. Common commonality, right? Uh, and yeah. uh, Barry, I've told you this before, but when I went through my stint of anxiety, one of the only people who could relate to that was Indy. 
Right. No. And I remember, oh, I'm out here in the little bit. Let's talk about this before it's called Go Ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember sitting outside this clinic. So I had this job. I left a job, which is made, which caused the anxiety, jumped into another job, which I thought was going to sort it out, which actually, I was only there for like four days, but that gave me more anxiety. Yeah. But I remember on the, I think with the penultimate day or something of that second job, I was sitting in the car. It was about half eight in the morning and I was on the phone to Indy. And yeah. I, didn't, I, I actually didn't want to go in. Um before and then i spoke to him for about half an hour and by the end like and it's not it's not like he was giving me affirmations he was like oh man you're gonna have a good day like he wasn't even doing anything he was just keeping it real yeah and uh like you know he's recognizing things that i'm saying he's like yeah you know i feel that and literally but at, at the end of it i had enough in the tank to be like i can see out this day and mm-hmm. that's all it took and yeah that's, like, sometimes yeah, you gotta take it really linear like single day one but one point in front of the other wonderful. that's it and it's so underrated and you know indy that i i will take that to the end of my days like there are there are certain moments when you reflect and you think the power of certain things they're so welcome, sp- they can they can yeah thank you they can look so small from the outside um but it, it cannot be understated and uh I, this initiative you you've done barry this is amazing like how often are you doing this i mean i can't take that obviously run i do it yeah yeah we actually do it this evening we are i've picked one this is my day because when did you do? Yeah, well, um, that's the day everyone hates, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what happens is we have a bit, we have a, we have a bit of fun because we catch up. We have uh, we got like yeah. a few of us that are regulars and other people float in and out. Right. Like, sometimes we talk about headspace. If somebody will say to me, is it if somebody wants to because we're comfortable with each other now? Like a few weeks ago, one of the ladies, what she wanted to say, she goes, "I really got something I need to talk about." Mm. Like if I would pick a quote, was she was she a regular as well? This person, she was a regular, so we picked a quote. Right, okay. We said, "Okay, open." So she opened up. And we had a chat and by the end of she felt better that she got it off her chest and then you know mm. to the, the person we knew and i think that's what we're there for but some weeks we just chat about we, what we've been up to we chat about what's yeah, yeah. and i think that's a good thing is that there's not nobody's compelled that they have to talk about anything particular and in life where there is you know like we all work in jobs where there are essentially yeah. there are rules right i mean it's great when we have work which allows us to be autonomous I think yeah. that's that is the you know the um the goal like you want to you want to work this autonomous like for example when I see patients I don't want to be told how many patients I need to see a day or how I need to see them or uh, how yeah, I need to absolutely. do my documentation it's just jazz is going to provide value do go and do a good job yeah. whereas I know now again in reflection the jobs where that caused me that anxiety it was there it was so much control all my work 100% was audited even if I got to the right outcome you've done it the wrong way fail 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 and when I come from a life where everything I'm doing is autonomous on paper, I thought it was going to be easy work. Right. And then it was just that change. And so this is, I think this is a really good point you're making here. And I guess the other thing for you is I presume the gratification feeling that you get, you know, from um, helping others. And I, I presume it forms part of your seva. Maybe that's the way you see it. Yeah. And I think it's, it's a good point you make because we touched it earlier on, because I've been running for so long now. I've seen the personal benefits. Hmm. I think I was one of those really say I can't run. I can't run. <laughs> and actually proved to myself I, I can go way beyond that. Okay. But then when I hear people say, oh, I, I don't think I could run, I think no, you can, but it, it, can, it does take work. I'm not going to lie to somebody say it, it's easy to do. Right. Some people have an aptitude for it. Hmm. They just don't want to do it because they want to go for the work. And some people just need a little bit of a nudge. So I hope, what I hope is that you just encourage people to actually. There's nothing that says you have to go out and run as fast as possible. Run really yeah. fast. Do something. You just just find that rhythm. Just, yeah. So that that's probably the, the most important thing about running is you do how it suits you. So mm. you, like you find that pace that works for you, and that's all you've got to do. It doesn't matter about. I mean, that's a great analogy for life, isn't it? It's find yeah. your rhythm, isn't it? Like it's we're your, all your trying rhythm. to be like that person, be like that. That's what success looks like. Da, 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 da. That's what a good seek looks like, right? We, we have it in everything we do. Mm. Whereas what you're saying is actually, no, find your rhythm, get comfortable, I, confidence I think, yeah. builds, and you, you just own it. You're like, this is how I do it. 